Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by Slice on Broadway. Supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza, SliceOnBroadway.com. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. Guys, it is the Wrestling Mayhem Show, ready to talk professional wrestling with you, our dear friends in the audience, our dear friends on the internet, around the world, and in your soul. Wait, that got weird. I'm Mike Sorg, at Sorgatron on Twitter, and Mayhem Studios, Mayhem Central here on Pittsburgh, PA, where uh, a lot of mirth and happiness has been happening. You're going to have to tune into the gold on the Patreon for that. But in the meantime, with me, of course, uh, everybody, I want to point this out, everybody here, Everybody here has worked for a wrestling promotion or does work for a wrestling promotion in their time. One of them, probably the one with the biggest uh, 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 hit on his LinkedIn profile, is Mad Mike up in Poughkeepsie, New York, <laughs> sporting, Hi, sporting the Lucha Underground mug. But he's a, he, uh, then that might be the reason he was future endeavored by the WWE. And that's why he makes such great friends with other future endeavored friends of the show from the WWE, like Chris DeJoseph. We're actually starting a support party. Um, it's called Best of Luck. What? What do you mean a support party? Like, like it's, I, it, yeah, a support group. It's called Best of Luck. I think they already had a support group, and it was called um, um, TNA. I want, no, no, it was called. Ah. I was called. Um, 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 oh, what was it? I want wrestling. Remember the old uh, uh, Dave oh. Lagana? podcast yeah. Oh, yeah yeah but guess where he went sork yeah 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 See, but, i told but, you but hey chris the joseph was a part of that podcast in that 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 movement so uh i just want to point that out just a you know, little history there but no no it was great maybe, maybe you'll start by the new, way yeah. thank you chris the joseph for this lovely loser underground mug. <laughs> you want to know what's going on so apparently over on the facebook group um uh uh, a few of these guys doing the midweek war got some swag packs from Lucha Underground for doing the midweek war, um, and 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 there's an unboxing of exactly what these guys got. I imagine you all got the same stuff um, over on the Wrestling Mayhem Show Facebook group from Matt Carlin. So go check that out. This is what happens when you do a podcast that gets the attention. <laughs> of the people you're fans of and it's pretty fantastic to see that's happening so um also with us is wheels sound guy for the renegade wrestling hey. Alliance down there on west newton big show coming up here on july 30th for them yes 25 more days to go yes i'm itching to play some music that's actually and something you should screams that, that actually sounds like something you should get checked out by an actual professional doctor and not ones with a questionable doctor degree like those in the RWA. Also with us, the voice of Inspire Pro Wrestling is <laughs> Eamon Payton, another fan uh, uh, with mysterious packages from the from the Lucha Underground. Yeah, so you'd say, oh, wait, what's this? Oh, ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> mm. Mm. This invisible water is so delicious. Mm. I actually um, put something in my mug. Yeah, I had something beforehand. Um, but yeah, um, yeah. Thank you very much to the Lucha Underground folks for uh, uh, sending us those packs and, and supporting our podcast. Um, it's not uh, unlike other wrestling promotions who apparently gave out screeners to fucking other podcasts. Apparently, we're too good for them, but not for Lucha Underground. We appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, the, thanks for the, nothing, well, Dixie. That's why. I, thanks for nothing. Well, that's why Lucha Underground is better. Well, listen. If they actually listen to our podcast about Impact Wrestling. I, yeah, we're honest. Yeah, they, they, yeah they, they, that's that's true. We have I'd not like been great to, to them. I think we offer some constructive criticism. A little bit, little bit. It's let's just say it's the, it's a Dixie Carter advice segment. But this is your Wrestling Mayhem show, the main flagship show. We talk uh, all general pro wrestling funness and conversation. Hey, we're fans. Don't let the the fancy titles and and fancier mugs fool you. We're all fans, and we like to hang out with the fans, have conversations with the fans, have conversations with you on our Twitter at Mayhem Show Wrestling Mayhem Show, and over at the hotline four one two two zero six WMS zero. Let us know your thoughts on what's going on in the wrestling world, your responses to things we talked about on the show, or just uh, what do you think about uh, uh, something Mad Mike said last week. Whatever the case is, just hit us up, 412-206-WMS0, or that email address. 
Good times. <laughs> Good times at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. Music to my ears. And of course, uh, uh, and of course, WrestlingMayhemShow.com. Subscribe to us on all the great, great formats, video and audio formats. Our Facebook and YouTube for Wrestling Mayhem Show has a lot of stuff going on over there, um, as well as, like I said, our Twitter and subscribe to us, iTunes, Stitcher, Spreaker, iHeartRadio, Google Play Podcasts, all those places, wherever you like to consume this kind of stuff. We'd like to see you there. And if we're not the place where you expect us to be, let us know. We'll try to get it there. Also, uh, what else was there to say? Oh, live, 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 live dot wrestling mayhem show dot com every Tuesday. I want to say eight o'clock. I'm not going to say we start a show at eight o'clock. I want to say we start talking and we put a wrestling mayhem show graphic up and, and you can join us for whatever that happens to be. But eventually do start the show and you can be a part of it. Live dot wrestling mayhem show dot com. Also, shout out to our friends on Patreon supporting the show. Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. You can too. Give as little as a penny. It don't matter. Support local podcasting even if that's not local to you. It's local to somebody. Uh, thanks to our good friends, the Matthew and Jennifer Carlin's Foundation for Podcast Betterment. Ed Burke, uh, the WrestlingRevolution.com, our longtime supporter, as well as, I lost my train of thought. Oh! Bo- and of course this button doesn't work the way i thought it does there it is um and who did i miss who did i miss that line oh alex cars power to the smarts.com occupy pro wrestling thank you so much uh, those guys i know the payments just came through and we really do appreciate that helps pay some of the bills here around the show and they actually we throw a little bit of that money out to uh acquire more listeners to check out the show we really do appreciate all the support you guys are giving to that all right let's get into the show and i want to talk about twitter let's talk about twitter Welcome to the wrestling Twitter, show. Twitter, 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 Twitter. Let's talk about Twitter. Um, <laughs> but it's been actually, it's been, it's been. I, I wanted to touch on some things, and 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 I know you guys have other things we were talking about before the show. I think we're going to touch on too about, um, you know, obviously WWE is kind of the foremost, the best use of Twitter. I mean, how many times do you guys see me retweeting them on my Monday nights when they're like, oh, look at this, you know, and, and they're giffing stuff minutes after, or moments after it's happened on TV, right? Mm-hmm. Um, they are just mm-hmm. superb, and and the leader of the pack, not just not just for pro wrestling, but that like WWE is somebody that I use as an example when I go to talk to people about social media and content online, because guys, that's my job. Like, that's my day job is doing that mm-hmm. kind of thing. Um, and, and I say, look at WWE look how they branded this person this person this person you know and 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 i think that's i think you need to look at that if you are an indie wrestler other promotion something like that as okay that's that's we don't need to uh uh, resemble them but we need to take tips from them you know what i mean um then we have the other people then we have incidents like i was so 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 sad to find out that bobby heaton is not really on twitter Am I the only one? <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, yeah. I, 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 from what I know of the situation, it does seem kind of shitty what happened, but mm-hmm. yeah. I uh, mean, I didn't really think it was Bobby Heenan. From what the last I've heard about Bobby Heenan is that he is not in good health condition wise. So why would he start a Twitter account now? Well, he hasn't been great, but he's selling t-shirts on pro wrestling tees and which we'll get to. And, um, and, 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 and he still does appearances and everything like that. So last I knew, and, and whereas he's not in great health as in, well, the guy can't talk. Um, he still is kicking, you know, he still had great yeah. spirits the last time we saw him. Uh, so, so, I mean, when you don't have a voice, I think Twitter is a great spot for you to have that voice again right now. And I thought the I thought the mm-hmm. count did have that voice a little bit, and it felt it felt right. And and I believed. I wanted to believe, Mike. I really wanted to believe. Well, <laughs> Sorg, that's that's because you're a humanoid, and humanoids want to believe stupid, stupid things. That was also a big Hulkamania, no matter what Bobby Heenan told me back in the day. So, mm-hmm. yeah. Well, no, I mean, hey. Whose side, side, side is he on, Sorg? That's right. What was that? What was that, Eamon? On? Well, I just said, look how that turned out for you. <laughs> hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Throw Bobby Heenan was right all along, everyone. All along. That's so scary. That's so scary. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> oh no. Um, but anyways, uh, it, 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 I don't know. In the long run, um, so I mean that's that's sad, and I guess there isn't a great way to to verify those kinds of things. But um, and the other interesting, and it's kind of awkward because we were just promoting this past week the Pro Wrestling Tees Fourth of July sale. Um, I didn't know Pro Wrestling Tees is not the Twitter account for Pro Wrestling Tees. Uh, well, it is. It is. Uh, Eamon, what are you picking but up? They're on this? not running it. Well, they, they, this was blowing up last night during Raw. Right. And and I'm discovering this and watching as as Colt Cabana is responding to these kinds of things. And I'm seeing some of the horrible, horrible tweets coming over this account. And, and I want to point pro wrestling tees as a whole. I love it. We had um, mm-hmm. uh, one of the guys from pro wrestling tees on Indie Mayhem show. They were really cool about things. I love what they do for indie wrestlers. There's some people kind of uh, um, questioning how much they actually help them. But I think I think there's a pretty good democratization that's happening there, um, and, and you know whatever you think of that, uh, it, it's a good exposure for a lot of those guys, right? But apparently the Twitter account, um, and if you go to prowrestlingtees.com, you go to the bottom, they, they they list their social media, and I think the Instagram is Pro Wrestling Tees, and the Twitter is One Hour Tees, which is their kind of their parent company and everything, right? Uh, and this is and, and one hour tea or pro wrestling tees is a is a collaboration between one hour tees, which is a real thing that makes t shirts. It's like a Commonwealth Press here that, that they make you know uh, on demand t shirts and everything, right? Uh, uh, you know, one of those kind of smaller shops. And they're already doing the online thing with one hour tees, and they teamed up with Colt Cabana and they have this, right? So yeah. I've been using it on promotion, and I've noticed for about a month, I'd say weird tweets from them. I, I don't know if you know this is too like, Hey guys, follow to uh, pro wrestling tees. And then it'll be like some random news story, like, like, like very weird spammy wrestling news story. Right. Um, and, I, and that was my first kind of like that. What, what are those guys doing over there? Um, and then there was a lot of like, I guess there was a big block thing. Amen, you're blocked for some reason. I, you know, apparently I was blocked for a long time. Oh. I tried to look at this scenario. I'm like, Oh, I'm blocked by pro wrestling tees. Um, yeah, I guess it's a long-standing thing. Like whoever has been running that account is really terrible. Uh, and it's some apparently it's just some fan or something. Like it's like they got somebody to just do it, and it's like I don't. If you, you, they're a pretty reputable. I mean, they're pretty I, for the most part a pretty reputable company. I don't know why you can get somebody else to do it. Like, yeah, and, and we, I, we, I'm we, pretty sure the situation is like if my live tweet of Impact was on the official Impact Wrestling Twitter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that is what it feels like. That is, it is a little yeah. bit of what it feels like. Yeah. Um, but, uh, uh, yeah, apparently it's run, it's run, it's run by a fan or something and has it, and it actually, it's changed since last night. Last night it had links for yeah. pro wrestling tees and it had, um, um, NSFW, your mom, uh, as part of it as well. And there's a lot of horrible responses. Actually, I went to look at it right now. And that's the same here. I just looked at it. (laughs) So it says this is an automated Twitter account to remind you of our of news, our newest shirts and sales. So it's saying got fired. (laughs) Finally, I'd hope so. After last night, it made it almost seem like they had no they had no way of like stopping him from tweeting like that. Like that's at least how it came off. Like like that they like they gave this guy their Twitter, their official Twitter, and there was nothing they could do about it. And I can see how they could be locked out of it if they weren't like terribly. I mean, I mean, when you're a small company like this, like not having a social media, uh, uh, uh you know, plan is, is not something that you think of, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, but even in the same case, like for example, like I run Inspire Pro Wrestling social media, and like if I ever, you know, went that way and did that kind of stuff, like the people who I who I you know who employ me would have a means to basically make sure that I don't run their social media anymore. Like it's, 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 yeah, it's ridiculous. And everybody, everybody from Justin Labar, Joey Ryan, anybody that has shirts on there, we were everybody else. Um, they, they, that, you know, are you saying, Hey, pro wrestling tees that this is the tour account. Like, Hey, the, you know, that this is the one they're tagging. And then you're getting stuff like, um, um, if anyone is looking for us, we'll be hiding in the corner, sucking our thumb and wetting it in the bed, you know, like, like in responses about haters, that's one of the nicer, there's one of the nicer, but tweets. also, and even that it, it retweeted a one hour tease tweet says it's statistically proven that the worse we act on Twitter, the more shirts 
uh, wrestlers sell on ProWrestlingTees.com. So I'm guessing he had a little bit of access to that one too. Yeah. Or I remember there was something similar like maybe like a year or so ago that, that the situation like that. It, this isn't a, like a one-time occurrence. Like this is stuff that's happened I think for a long time. That's I think why I was blocked by them in the past. But um, like it was a case of um, they got they pulled somebody who was selling T-shirts of their own designs of another wrestler. And it was a it was a big thing. And like I remember like their response to that was just awful. Like just the, and and both from the fact that like, cause I, I run the social media for Inspire Pro, but I also like, I'm going to school for public relations and like, that's like my ultimate nightmare to me Yeah, is, yeah. is, is the way that they, they run things. And like, this, this is a legit thing. Cause I mean, the big businesses, I mean, WWE, it's not anybody high up that's running that Twitter account. Um, any, any corporation, like you end up like the lower people are actually doing the footwork of this. Right. And again, mm-hmm. pro wrestling tees is probably not a huge company. Like anything that's dealing with independent pro wrestling, they're not yeah. a huge multi million dollar company by any means. I'm sure they do well for themselves. I'm, I, I, I'd bet. It looks like they're everywhere, right? They're they're kind of the the thing that's on everybody's lips. I mean, I had I had a promoter last week saying, "How do I get on pro wrestling tees?" Because he knows he needs to, right? And 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 but again, they're too busy with the day to day, and I see so many companies do this that they're they're throwing. Somebody's like, "Hey, I'll run your account. I love pro wrestling tees. Oh, I, I want to be a part of this, right?" And then that person has a bad day. <laughs> And has and has a soapbox that really doesn't belong to them. Yeah, this is that's what my happens. thing. That's my big thing. Is there like if they recruited a fan or whatever to do this? Right. It's I because I've seen that happen on smaller levels like, in like, like for, uh, for like indies, it, like like in, even in indie wrestling, I've seen that happen on smaller levels, and I'm like, why would you do that? Like, like not everybody. And I'm not saying I'm, for example, I'm good at it, but like I'm at least employed by the company. You know, like, not everyone knows what they're doing with social media. Like, you know what I mean? Like, it it it, it just frustrates me because it, it's literally I don't like I don't understand why you can find somebody within your own ranks to do that. Mm-hmm. And this is something. Well, and there's also like um, sometimes even if you hire someone within your own ranks, because if you look at the impact Twitter feed. There are some nights when Josh Matthews takes over, oh. and it's very obvious. He's a, he is a bitter person. Oh, he is, like, he is the bitter, he is the jagged little pill Alanis Morissette talked about. And this is something, like, 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 even our own account, I don't, if you don't notice, like, our own account has different voices. And we've been trying to mark those out a little bit, um, when, when it's obviously me, and I'm making sure I'm doing something that I know does not reflect Eamon and Mike's and, and everybody else's opinion on the show, I, I make sure I mark it. Uh, maybe I'm not doing it as much on, like, the Raw recap, I'm just kind of having fun with it. But, like, Mike, you have a very, very specific voice. And we make Hashtag sure, MM. yeah, exactly. And we've had discussions about this because I have had sometimes problems with your voice that you're using on our platform <laughs> <laughs> and some of the things you're saying on there. And we have guidelines about that, right? Mostly to Matt Hardy. Mostly the Matt Hardy. Yes, it's like yes. Please stop trolling the Hardys. I kind of encounter them every once in a while. Uh, <laughs> you know how many times? You know how many times I ran into Matt Hardy in uh, 2015. For instance, three times, <laughs> three times, Mike, and I want you to remember that. Just and in case, Sorg, we're sorry. <laughs> you know, I mean, nothing I, has I, happened. I still stand by every one of my tweets. I mean, I mean, this is the same. Like, it's that kind of feeling. Is like, man, I really hope he doesn't know how to do the show that where they say those things about him. Um, I mean, it was the same feeling that when we were um, um, releasing Montreal Theory that that weekend in Wrestle at WrestleMania, and we walked right by Bret Hart. You know, <laughs> those awkward things that happen, you know, so. Um, and, and you figure, Sorg, you, you put up that nice little big banner, like, at all all the shows you work, that says <laughs> WMS, and it's like, I forgot. Oh, I'm just like, oh, oh, maybe I decided to wear a Wrestling Mayhem show, and he happened to notice, right? A uh, shirt or something. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> I, I, we I put a banner up think, everywhere, guys. And, yeah. Dennis, I don't think he's of the right mind to pay attention to who's tweeting what. No, I'm sure that's the last thing he's thinking about. He's sure. on so many things. <laughs> <laughs> right, 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 right. Stardom and money and pop TV, right? Oh, so much money. <laughs> yeah, I mean, did you see that compound, Sorg? 
Dummy, yeah. I mean, he, he, he has to have money. He employed a, a somewhat Mexican gardener. I don't even know if he's Mexican. Like, <laughs> no, no, Eamon, Eamon, Eamon. All right, um, I heard this on our podcast. That gardener that was in there, that was the cameraman. <laughs> Is it really? No, no, legitimately, that was the cameraman. The only reason he was on camera was because Je- uh, Matt and Jeff were filming each other's entrances, and the gardener just wanted to be on screen for oh, it. Fox. Oh. <laughs> That's a Are real you thing. Serious? That is a real thing. That's like if if Chachi just randomly wanted to be on an IWC DVD, and he gave the camera to someone else. And said, "Here, I'm gonna be guest timekeeper for this match." Oh, like the Make time sure we had Jock Samson. Me. Like that time we got Jock Samson kick him in the nuts, and we had to hand it off. <laughs> yeah, that was fun. <laughs> but yeah, no, it, it's yeah. If this tells you anything, folks, get somebody reputable. All right, Twitter. all right. That, that's enough about that. So this is gonna be the Twitter episode, more or less. Um, we're gonna hit a break here real quick, but I uh, I want to come back and I want to I want to spin the positive. I want to because we haven't had this conversation for a while, actually. Who are you loving on Twitter right now? What wrestlers should you be following? What accounts? You know, uh, and so I want to kind of touch base on that. If there's anybody in the chat room uh, hanging out, I'd like to hear yours as well. <laughs> Just um, um, you know, who who you're digging? What are you laughing at, Wheels? <laughs> um, Plus, you said the chat room, and I looked at the chat room. Well, there's people in the chat room. Yes, that are not on this show, and and and. And everything. Yeah, so, absolutely they actually are. They're, they're yes, seriously, what they seriously. To stop laughing at wheels as if there's nobody there and we're just doing this alone. There's people there. I see names. All right. Well, hey, you know what? What's cool? <laughs> Slice on Broadway, our good friends. Uh, wheels was just telling us that uh, uh, Dr. Feelbad and the crew from the Renegade Wrestling Alliance uh, got to stop by Slice on Broadway down at the ballpark at PNC Park, home of the Pittsburgh Pirates. Um, and, and, and I got to actually stop back down there after uh, the social media day, uh, uh, proceedings down there, uh, and, and, and hang out with our good buddy, uh, father spoon, Doug Durda of should I drink that our longtime friends here on this show, fellow podcasters, beer podcasters, go check them out. Also check out his yins love bbq.com, uh, a cool new site that he's been working on. Uh, so if you like, if you like barbecue, um, but Rico and the guys got to talk to Rico a little bit last week as well. He has, um, he's working on pizza crate. He may or may not have said that to me, but we. I will. Sorg I will. T- I will say. Does Pizza Crate deliver to New York? The word I, I talked to him, and I can't tell you how receptive he was to this, but I legitimately did talk to him about Pizza Crate. I talked to him about delivery to uh, 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 Austin, Texas, and Poughkeepsie, New York. I told yes. him about how people in Austin, Texas, are talking about Slice on Broadway. Uh, and so, and, and these are the guys that have been supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza for a good while now here at Sorgatron media. Uh, we had a full house in here. I had to create a new seat, find a new webcam, find a new mic. You should see what we use for our mic stand over at the, at the awesome cast, uh, Twitter account, for instance. Um, uh, Sork, I'm sure they could also support Poughkeepsie podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza. I am sure they could. Uh, Rico and the guys, go check them out. SliceOnBroadway.com. If you're in Pittsburgh, it's right here in Beachview. Three locations right here in Beachview on the tracks, as well as in Main Street and Carnegie, PA. And like I said, PNC Park, home of the Pittsburgh Pirates. So go check them out and thank them for being part of the show. All right, Twitter. What are you guys liking on Twitter? Who are you following on Twitter? Who are you interested in? Who's entertaining to you on Twitter? Who are your Twitter best buddies? I know we get a lot of them that respond to us um, as we're live tweeting uh, the shows, whether it be NXT, Lucha Underground, Impact Wrestling, Raw. Uh, you know, we, we, It's really cool to see that interaction happening and see that these guys are paying attention uh, to, to what's going on out there. Uh, who, who do you guys like on the Twitter machine these days? Um, well, I'm I'm gonna start with some people who interact with me when I do live tweets. Mm-hmm. Um, Marty the Moth. I've seen those. Marty the Moth is really great. I, and let me let me explain. So so Mike Mike watches stuff on kind of a time delay because of his schedule and everything, right? So he's he's doing it like one in the morning or something like that. I wake up in the morning and see all the emails from responses and see the see the the notifications for Mayhem Show in the morning, and I love when you've had a good night on Twitter with these shows and I say, Oh, Marty, the moth responded. Oh, this person, summer Ray's talking with us, kill, you know, kill shot summer Ray. Like I've had a lot of people just really, 
like summer ray started um started a hashtag grandma natty uh when i was doing the total divas live tweets <laughs> and of course naturally i named the hype bros of course of course I did. yes absolutely it's on yes. it's, it's twitter evidence mm-hmm there is evidence. There is absolutely every single time I tweeted Mojo Raleigh from the first time Zack Ryder showed up on like in the crowd on a um, on a takeover. I tweeted hashtag hype bros. Mojo Raleigh favorited every one of those tweets. I guarantee it. But uh, yeah, nice. uh, Marty the Moth is awesome on Twitter. Um, Vampiro is pretty great on Twitter. He does respond sometimes. Um, but as far as people who don't respond, if you're not following Kevin Owens in the New Day, you're doing Twitter incorrectly. I'm so sad that Kevin Owens has been blocked on Twitter for some reason. He has you blocked? What did you say he, about has, him? he has me blocked. I've, I've done searches. I literally have not tagged him in anything or even really mentioned <laughs> his name. So I have no idea why. I just got caught in the block stream that is Kevin Owens, which is sad. <laughs> okay. Um, but no, I – but I – been able to see his tweets still and, and yeah they're amazing awesome <laughs> <laughs> and I agree. Yeah, Kevin Owens is just great. He, he just he's just such a smarmy asshole on that stuff. Uh, and, and you can see exactly like he just has fun just being a dick to everybody. And, but but in a smart way for the most part, right? Uh, so that's that's pretty cool to see. Hey man, who are you liking? Uh, I, I'm I usually I like the kind of different sort of accounts. Uh, 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 obviously, Mike mentioned a lot of like actual like wrestlers and stuff like that. Um, I also really like uh, it's a uh, wrestling without context. Um, I, I really enjoy their Twitter. It's literally just photos of scenes in wrestling with no captions. And of course, cause it's of course wrestling without context. Um, so it's, it's really, it's really great stuff. I, I, I enjoy it a lot. I, I, I like just going through that and kind of see. Hey, so hey man, hey while, man, what, what's their Twitter name? It's, uh, Oh God. Cause it's, it's, it's uh, kind of rest. No it's rest, context. Rest. No context. Okay, this I'm is this pretty out. fantastic. <laughs> it, it, I, I don't know. I just really like the concept of it. Like, hey, show somebody this photo and tell, ask them what you think about wrestling, what they think is happening. Um, <laughs> oh, I love this. Like, 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 I love the giant stream of pictures from the food fight from the Independence Day episode. Is mm-hmm. is pretty fantastic. Just they have some, they're mixing it with some classic ones too. It's oh yeah, cool. we got the Rujos. We got uh, Lex Luger sleeping on the bus in his red, white, and blue. <laughs> I don't even know what that is. IRS property of IRS. Uh, <laughs> two Japanese dudes kissing. Two Japanese dudes kissing. <laughs> this is <this is> fantastic. <laughs> the fabulous Rujo brothers. Wait, 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 wait. What is this? Sean, Sean is this Sean Michaels, Bobby Heenan, and Haku? I think they're working on a golf swing or something. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. What? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Sword, that's just accurate. All right. All that's right. just accurate. All right. And then, and then. And then oh, the other nice. one I thought of uh, more of a convenience thing than like a, like a funny sort of thing. I really love, there's a, there's a Twitter guy that posts WWE network updates of every time they add a new, new something they'll they'll basically tweet about how it's on the network now which is super convenient i feel um uh it's it's uh, i think it's oh god i just had it up uh it's wwe underscore network underscore bot um and and yeah every time a, every time a new something gets posted uh it adds it to the network which i think is super convenient when it comes to like especially like the older content uh, uh i like to watch things kind of periodically and sort of on a timeline so I like to know when stuff gets posted. So I, I, I appreciate stuff like that. Uh, so it's, it's WWE underscore network underscore bot. Yes. Right? And it's because it's not an official WWE account. Uh, it clarifies, but it's very helpful. Um, very, very helpful. Try to pull it up here as well. Um, but but like like every time like there's just like a a like a random episode of, of Nitro goes up. Or something. Yeah, yeah, because I know they just posted like a lot of Nitro episodes. So they, they posted every episode of Nitro. They yeah, now have every did. episode of Nitro. Now, so That's yeah. awesome. Yeah, yeah, I was watching some of the later. Like, I watched, I watched half of the episode before they got bought to see, like, oh, what that, was going I on here? Go watch that. What was going on here? It's weird. It's yeah. weird. 
when there's like maybe two thousand people in the building. Yeah, but even just like like there was a weird. I'm I'm trying to remember who all was like kind of a team where it was like Ric Flair was hanging out with Scott Steiner and maybe oh, DDP yeah, and, was like, and Road Warrior Luger. Animal. Yeah, you know? Road Warrior Animal and like Luger and Bagwell and like they were all in the stable. Yeah, yeah, and there's just a lot of these really bad hanging out in the locker room things that they did. Um, no, yeah, I'm pulling this up. So like like two hours ago, apparently we added uh, SmackDown. Uh, uh, from 11 25 1999 raw pre-show uh of course looks like this is from last night uh da, 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 da. and they're pretty much quickly adds to when they get uploaded yeah this week in wwe um i mean you're uh, until, unless they do giant like hey here's all the wwe's um colorful characters you think you know me what is this that's a new um that's one of the new collections oh okay i see i see so cool! I am following. Which I this. didn't know about. I they added like a colorful characters and then a cruiserweight collection uh, right to the network. I just and I literally, that's how I found out about it was through that Twitter account. Right, because I just and, I just got the email about it like today uh, to yeah. see what the new new collections were. By the way, finally finished Swerved. So that is and it. what did you think, Sorg? I like it. I think it was a lot of fun. <laughs> So, but I feel like I missed something because they they showed like like a, a Bubba a Bubba Ray Dudley thing that I don't think they did on the show. So, also the part of spoilers, but there's a part with uh, uh, Papa Shango and Boogeyman, which I think was like again a random Instagram we saw somewhere, right? That we wondered where the hell this was happening. It was like some mall, but there were like there was like nobody in the mall. So, so they it got really weird and awkward more than you would think it would be so uh wheels who are you following yeah yes who am i following i am following titus o'neill who's mentioned me a few times in Fantastic. conversation on twitter which was pretty cool and just following the general tna and um this really cool podcast called wrestling mayhem show i watch what? i check out things um and other than that, Lucha Underground, some news sites, Big Brother, that's about it. <laughs> oh, speaking of Big Brother, Sid Vicious' son's on it again this year. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. So, um, yeah. I can't think of who I follow now. Um, <laughs> uh, no, actually, oh, you know who I like? So, so like I said, I do the, I do the, live, the live tweets on Raw, and um, I like... Jimmy Carderas, friend of the show, uh, we we did an interview with him a little bit ago. Of course, refereeing refereeing one hundred and one over on IndieWrestling.us. Uh, him and Lance Storm are usually live tweeting as well during Raw, and like and and they will like people are asking, especially uh, uh, Carderas, questions. You know, as a former ref for so long, uh, like for instance, last night they're like like somebody's like. Since since when could they DQ you for hitting somebody already out of the match with the chair or something like that? He's like apparently this <laughs> week. So, um, but uh, uh, no, the, the, I like them because they're really insightful, um, um, semi funny most of the times, but but uh, you know really kind of like a, a, a good look into uh, their thoughts on what's going on as people that have been there in the business and in their in their in their respects i like that kind of stuff uh for sure like 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 that kind of responsive stuff right um and and like i said and during raw of course seeing seeing how well wwe keeps up with things um there was a there's a oh, few oh yeah. there's a few i forgot to mention <laughs> oh, okay ec3 Oh, of course. You have to follow. Oh, I mean, yeah, yeah. it should go without saying. If you're watching this yeah. show, you should already be following EC3 on Twitter. If you're not, even if you don't have a Twitter account, make a fake one just to follow EC3. Oh, and I should have mentioned before, uh, if we're going back to like wrestling, Biggie Langston. I said the New Day. I, oh, do you say the New Day? Yeah, oh, I, no. just, I just encompass Biggie, it. Biggie in particular, day. though. Yeah. My favorite of his recent ones is he tagged some old Apollo Crews tweet from like 2013 before he got signed about how Biggie Langston was ripping him off or something like that. And he, he was the best. Biggie's amazing. But um, Eamon, as a follow up to those tweets, Biggie sent a tweet out earlier today with uh, it's a four panel picture spread with Biggie seeing Apollo Crews in the hallway, Apollo seeing Biggie in the hallway. They look angry and then. Biggie picks them up. Yeah, it's pretty great. And they're all friends. 
Also, you should follow Sasha Banks. <laughs> that would make not, a hell of a tag team. Yeah, you, you should follow Sasha Banks, not in real life, but on Twitter. Yep. yep. Because, <laughs> because she is the conversation. <laughs> All right. Uh, from that, uh, I'm glad we got to wrap that around. Something positive there. Who are you following? Who's interesting? Who do you like? Let us know at Mayhem Show on the Twitter, or of course the email address. Like and I also mentioned. follow all of us. Yeah, follow us follow at these, Sorgatron. Yes. Follow us. Follow our friends. Follow Mainstream Matt. Follow Like Kick TKO. Basically, anyone we've ever talked about. <laughs> exactly. Follow. Exactly. And also, yes. um, uh, Sorg. Speaking of Twitter, that's that's fun right now. The Riz is watching Impact for the first time in months, and he Riz, is live tweeting it. Oh Riz, no! Oh no! Please, please, Jesus, Mike, Mike, please retweet anything good that he has going on to the Mayhem I'm, account. I'm trying to avoid it because I want to avoid spoilers. Oh no! Okay, maybe I'll I do just it. I just saw some of the things he um um. Let's see. All I see is the Arrested Development gift where he just says, "I made a huge mistake." <laughs> Which I okay um from the e riz dixie carter on the microphone makes me want to jam glass in my eyes hashtag impact on pop <laughs> so, this is gonna be great gonna be great this is gonna be good this is gonna be good all right i'm excited Sorg. well we're gonna come back with the big question as well as the uh what i like to call the booby round in the wwe draft at this here in a little bit. We'll be right back after this. Hi, this is Kevin Eastman, co-creator of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and you're listening to the Wrestling Mayhem Show! Hey guys, Wrestling Mayhem Show. It is time for your big question. And, and so it's already, we, we, we kind of have a Twitter theme this year, on the uh, this week on the show this year, yeah. Um, so I, I thought we'd ask who on who should be on Twitter that isn't? Like, who would you like to see kind of cut loose on Twitter? Now, we were having that little bit of discussion, like, oh, Vince McMahon. I mean, you know, yeah, Vince McMahon has a Twitter account. But looking at it, like, I don't feel like this is Vince McMahon really on Twitter. Whether, you know, I, I, I just, you know, this feels like the, the staff, you know, the, the social media staff making sure there's stuff on his Twitter account. Whereas... People we talked about, obviously, it's them. It's their personality. They're responding to fans, you know. And not that that's not happening over here, of course, on 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 Vince's uh, account. But um, who? So that would kind of be on it, or or some other people. If I can go first as a sample, uh, last I knew, Dean Ambrose is not on Twitter, and he's a very. I think he's very generally a, an anti-technology person in general. That's fine, but I feel like his personality, if he adopted Twitter. Would be really entertaining. Oh yes. I also kind of feel like if you're a WWE champion, you should be on Twitter. Yeah, I, 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 I do. Because I mean, you're you're the face of the company. I know they say it is kind of like a plot point for a storyline, but you're the face of the company. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like you, you, really, you really should be on there, especially when guys like Rollins, even though that hurt him in the long run. <laughs> You know, <laughs> I mean, but you know, like everyone's been, every recent champion has been on Twitter and been active on Twitter. <laughs> By the way, we put this question out. Uh, uh, our friend Joe Dombrowski is having a uh, Q and A on his Facebook right now as he's watching Impact the Poor Soul. <laughs> and Mike uh, went over and asked if you could take <laughs> away one per- wrestling personality's Twitter account, who would it be? And he says, "You mean like delete it?" And he said, "Exactly." He says, "Probably take Clemens because why not?" Uh, there you go. <laughs> Friend of the show, Jake Clemens, referee extraordinaire. So, Mad Mike, you have to have an answer for this one. I do, Sork, and it's the it's the same person I think of whenever I think of who I want to hear from. That person is the Undertaker. Mm, yeah, the Undertaker. Like whenever, like when that man retires. His bio DVD is going to be the greatest thing of all time because it will be because he's held like he's held the most kayfabe with his gimmick like, mm-hmm. forever. Like the only time we even got a glimpse of it was when he was the American badass and he had a DVD called This Is My Yard and it was phenomenal. 
Oh yeah. Like, and he talked about his, he talked about his career a little bit, but the way WWE does DVDs now, I cannot wait. And I wish he was on Twitter. Like, like, but then again, you get into the thing like Mick Foley once said, the Undertaker should never tweet. Right. Right. Because it ruins the mystique. Like Bray Wyatt shouldn't tweet. He shouldn't. But man, you wish he could. You know, it, 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 it's Absolutely. OK either way. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Awesome. Mm-hmm. Amen. So Amen. 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 What about you? <laughs> oh, God, I'm still stumped. Um, God, I don't even know. Um, how about, how about uh, wheels? Do you yeah, have go one? Wheels first. Go to wheels first. Go to wheels first. Go to wheels Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm like Eamon. I am like I. I'm sitting here thinking who isn't real that doesn't like answer people that that I don't already know doesn't have one or something like that. Well, I mean, I'll point you. Wouldn't you love to see, like I mentioned before, Vince McMahon really on Twitter? Right. Right. And it's like um, there's like one time I was at a show and I remember talking to one of the wrestlers. I'm like. Is this really you? And they're like, no, I don't have this. And I don't remember who it was. Virgil? And no, good God, no. Because <laughs> that used to be the answer for Virgil. <laughs> um, oh, man. Shane Douglas? Mm, nope. No. Nope. <laughs> Did Shane Douglas need a babysitter? AIW podcast. Go check it out. <laughs> oh, man. It was like way back when I used to go to IWC, too. And I'm like, I don't remember. So that's how long ago it was. Tracy Smothers. My God, Tracy Smothers. If he's not on Twitter, he should be. I think he is. Is he? I think he is, actually. Yeah, I think he is, too, yeah. Uh, Can I? Uh, so, wait, 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 wait. Speaking, so there's other social medias going on, too. Uh, I follow uh, our friend of show, uh, 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 Facade, on, on Snapchat, and he was in Nashville mm. for some stuff going on. And at some point, they're on a a a party bus of some sort going down Broadway in Nashville where, where I was like a couple months ago. And I think, I think Ray Lynn and, and Dylan Bostick are down there for this too, if I'm not mistaken. Um, <laughs> and it's a party bus with facade and some other wrestlers and Tracy Smothers. And for some reason, Tracy Smothers is on a mic in the, in the party bus and the blue mini picture oh that rolling down Broadway in Nashville. So yeah. Yeah. Uh, that that was that was like that that's that's one of those like I want to be is, on that is this real life right now kind of things or is so. it just fantasy oh. Jesus I, Christ it wheels well we're somebody Sorry. mute him somebody mute him <laughs> uh, Amen Amen have you come back around um uh, like the closest I can think of like uh, maybe some. I'm trying to think of like older legends that are, that aren't on Twitter that I would like to be on Twitter. You know, I even though it probably wouldn't be in English, uh, and, and he's just being reintroduced now in the movies world, I guess now with the Cruiserweight Classic. But uh, something about Tajiri comes to mind, I guess, because mm-hmm. like I remember him. He's always been like he seems like a very super comical person, like in real life, to where like I feel like that could translate well to Twitter. That's like the, that's like the biggest straw I could grasp as far as someone I could think of. Well, I mean, and we had the we talked about the controversy earlier. Bobby Heenan. Mm. Yeah. Bobby Heenan would be great on Twitter. Especially I feel like I, I feel like I would yeah. slightly. I would want Bobby Heenan on Twitter, but there's also part of me that wouldn't want like some of those old timey old ti- old timey. What the fuck am I saying? Old like <laughs> older time wrestlers on Twitter because there's part of me that's like. Obviously, there's a something you have to know about like Twitter, in a sense. Like, like for example, we talked about Vader in the past. You know, with the recent summer with him, probably wouldn't be the. You know, he's a person of a different era, who both of, of, of technology and of wrestling. Like, I don't know if it would always translate the perfect way. You know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, mm-hmm. there, there is always like, um, like you never want to meet your heroes. Because you know yeah. they're like in person. Like yeah, I, I, I can see. I, can see I don't want to know what my heroes actually think about modern wrestling. Like, <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, I think that's. Uh, did we get one out of wheels officially? Maybe a little bit. No, not All right. really. All no. right, wheels but come back. Actually, to you us. know what? I have another good one uh, okay. from the world of indie wrestling. I have one for wheels. Yes, yes this, this is for wheels. Go for um, it. delirious. 
He is oh, on yes. Twitter. No, but if you look at his Twitter, it's all just punctuation marks. Right. Mm-hmm. I want to hear what he actually thinks about Twitter. You want you, what <laughs> I, you I, want? I want to be able to read his stuff. You want delirious translated? Yes. I need a um. Uh, oh, I can't. A think Google of translator for Twitter. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was trying to think of the name of the um the translating thing, but yeah, I want um an Eng- a delirious to English translation. Uh, I, I like it. I used yeah. to be, I like I used answer, to be right? able yeah. to read Delirious, but now I can't. I've lost the ability. That ha- Rosetta that- Stone. Rosetta Stone, Delirious. That's it. That's what I was trying to think of. That's what happens there when you, you grow up. That's what happens when you grow up, Mike. Um, but uh, hey, I don't want to grow up. Sorry. Let us know your. Th- I, I know. Um, I know. <laughs> Can giraffe- we stop quoting songs? <laughs> I know, Giraffe Boy. Uh, but. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> let us know your thoughts what twitter accounts do you think should be made should happen uh that that aren't there or not populated enough uh in in, in some cases so that's our big question amen it is time for wwe draft yes yes it's our final it's our final special round i guess you can call it uh because we've drafted our, our respective teams if you follow us the last month or so we've been drafting teams uh, for our mock draft uh team raw and team smackdown uh, but now we're, we're, we're going to play a bit dirty, I guess, so to speak. We're going to play a bit dirty. <laughs> um, uh, this round is yes, a final round are. because we still have a good, like, I think like 30 wrestlers are still left on the board. Um, what we're going to do uh, is that each of us are going to pick five wrestlers for the other team. <laughs> uh, and the I believe the rule that we uh, came to the conclusion of is that you must book at least one of those wrestlers in uh, a pre-show match for your SummerSlam that you are putting together. So uh, that's the rule. Uh, I guess we'll do another coin flip to keep things fair. Okay. Uh, 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 so we've got things down. Uh, Sorg, I want you to call it in the heads of tails. Give me some tail. That's <laughs> what she said. And, oh, you got tails. Yeah, what's Damn up? It. Right. Damn it. Sorg, Sorg, do we go with number one? They didn't pick that already? No, I don't remember seeing, hearing them say that. All right, I think uh, your roster needs to get hype with Mojo Riley. Riley, yeah, we'll take Mojo Riley. Fucking Holy nice. shit, damn it, Sorg. Yeah, damn. we'll take Mojo Riley. All Mojo, right, no, we'll take Mojo Riley. Apparently, yeah, Mojo <laughs> Riley. I should have bumped up. <laughs> it's rage hype rage. That's mm. what it is. I should have bumped huh? up that Devon. All right, um, <laughs> hey Amen. Um, I'm good. Do you mind if I do this one? Yeah, sure. Go ahead. All right, Sorg. Um, we don't think you have enough cast members of, from Total Divas on your roster. Oh, no. Mm-hmm. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Guess what? You're getting the recently baby mama Rosa Mendez. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. You didn't take the worst one. Oh, no. <laughs> Wow. All right, all right. Well, I want to give you the one that I actually completely accidentally said when I was supposed to say the number. Um, we're going to give you the person that we know is absolutely useless on their own, uh, Devon Dudley. Okay. Oh, dude, he is going absolutely, to be... Really? We are going to make him a reverend again? Is <laughs> it great? I don't know if he's useless. We're doing five, right? He's going to be a reverend. We're, we're doing, doing five. Yeah, okay. five this round. Uh, Deacon Harper coming your way from SmackDown. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! All right. Uh, so, Amen. So, yeah, uh, yeah. The one Amen, definitely that one. Definitely uh, that one. Uh, uh, well, this is like a the sidiest side side member of Total Divas, like the furthest to the possible side. Are you just getting us all Total Divas <laughs> members? <laughs> Kinda. Uh, <laughs> then now that we think about it, welcome, welcome to Raw, uh, Jay Uso. <laughs> oh, Justin Uso. We're completely going to make him a reverend. <laughs> reverend Jay Uso. Jesus. And by the way, that's not the Uso that's married to Naomi. No, it's the other one. It's the other one. We Could checked. We, we checked. I, I don't even yeah, know the difference. I, I honestly don't know the difference. I. Left, left face paint or right face paint? I don't know. They're both hilarious. Um, <laughs> Are they? I don't Are know. they really? I, I love that hardware episode of Swerved. 
Okay, that's fair, but that that's fun. that's mostly because of the new day. That's true too. That's true too. I will right, we'll team them up with. I other... enjoyed their five hour, five hour energy commercials. What? Mm. All right, Wheels. Uh, it's our turn, right? We're have that talk later. It's our turn. Yep, it's our turn. All yep. right, let's give you the lame duck of Ryback. Okay. Uh, you realize these are supposed to be bad people, right, Sword? Yeah, like you're, you're, you're doing <laughs> this pretty nice. Like, you're giving us gold, gold, Jerry, yeah. gold. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> um, Eamon, do you want the one I said or the one you said? Um, I think on. we can do both eventually. Let's see what Matt says because he's typing right now. Oh, he's, oh! Uh, Matt wins. Yeah, that's, <laughs> Matt wins. Yeah, okay. That's All right. right. Hey, hey, Sorg. Mm. Sorg. Um, you're not gonna go there. You're not gonna go there fully, but I think you're just going to the waste. You're getting Victor. Getting <laughs> Victor? Are you serious? <laughs> wow. I told you. I told you what round this is. Victor is the smaller one, right? Yes. Sure. I think so. <laughs> Victor's the one that's not on suspension. I'm calling Audible Wheels. We, we played nice. We gave you the one that's not on suspension. I'm, yeah, call Audible. I'm going to call an Audible here because we're going to give you the land. Um, Whatever the other one is. Connor? Connor. <laughs> by, the way, by the way, they had just had a match on Superstars. I randomly tuned in when they were showing Superstars on Friday. I'm like, oh, fuck, it's a wasteland. <laughs> <laughs> they lost the golden truth, by the way. Um, um, all right, Eamon, I think, I think we can do those last two in either order okay you want to go with mine uh let's go with mine just because i don't think they yeah yeah the let's, go let's go with you let's go with yeah they don't know who the other one is <laughs> okay uh, <laughs> uh uh i hope you guys uh enjoy uh, uh a, a little trip to puerto rico <laughs> Uh, you guys are getting Epico. Then you got Primo. That's a, They were in the same slot on our list. <laughs> no, we already have Primo. His no. name is Eamon Payton. Yeah. Oh. oh, you got a final pick. Here's your. This is far, your final pick going to us. Um, Sorg, I think they ought to go to the movies. What are we talking about? What? Wait, I what? Think, I, I think they ought to go to the movies and pick up their tickets at Fawn. Dongo. Oh, I see. Okay. All right, sure. We'll take it. See, I didn't. Th- I didn't think that was that was negative enough of a uh, of a pick, actually. So I've been sitting <laughs> on that. Yeah. Well. Yeah. You made it. No, we're totally fine. We're. I think we're pretty good, actually. This, this is great. Um. Hey. Hey. Sorg. Sorg. Mm. Uh, I have a question. Mm. Did you watch the show Lost? Oh no. Did you watch the show Lost? Because mm. you're about to get. Sawyer Fulton. <laughs> Who? Exactly. <laughs> and we did not He's dig, on NXT. We did he counts. not, we did not dig, the dig far enough. He's on, on the it. list. He's on the rest of things. Ugh. You get Sawyer Fulton. Ugh. Sawyer Fulton. Went, so, so I blame all of our picks on Riz. So we get to make a pre-show match on SmackDown with either Mojo Raleigh, Devon Dudley, Ryback, Connor, or Fandango. Not too bad. Yeah, I'm down. Down. There's plenty we can do with that. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Uh, you, you on the other Dude, hand. Dude, you guys are going to love the Connor versus Fandango dance off on our pre show. Oh, it's going to be great. <laughs> um, you guys on the other hand, uh, uh, you may be in a bit of trouble because uh, you got to make a pre show match with either Rosa Mendez, Jay Uso. A pregnant Rosa Mendez. She's not pregnant anymore. No, no. She's had the baby. Oh. She's had the baby. She has cleared. To compete, Sorg. She is cleared for action. Uh, Jay Uso, Victor, Epico, or Sawyer Fulton. So good luck with that. Right. And um, <laughs> by the way, this is amazing. Um, I want to point out, Eamon, how many total picks have we done in this draft? Uh, uh, we've done 90 total picks. Okay, 90, 90 total picks for Raw and SmackDown. Um, this was deliberate on our end. I don't know if it was deliberate on your guys. So, guess who is not on either roster? Hmm. Randy Orton. <laughs> <laughs> wow, yeah. I, I was, because we said for the longest time we didn't want Randy Orton on our roster. Because we assumed you guys were going to take him at some point. And I, I'm like, we can't, give him, we can't give them Randy Orton. I want to see if we go the whole thing without picking 
multiple time world champion, member of <laughs> Evolution, <laughs> first man to unify the world at WWE titles, Randy Goddamn Orton. Uh, I also want to no one picked him. A couple other people who are missing from this from this roster, the rosters that we've drafted. Um, a man who main evented Raw last night uh, and was one of the last people before Raw went off the air last night. The Big Show. Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yep. Another person we did not want on our team. Uh, as well as, an, as well as another person on Team USA, Kane. <laughs> Oh, wow. There's a lot of former world champions left on the table. So, so are we going to book? Are we going to book like the best uh, indie show ever with these guys that are left? Kinda, yeah. Night of the superstars. <laughs> Random Uso. Um, does anybody have swagger? You guys have swagger. I yeah, believe. you guys have swagger. We? Were you looking to see if all of Team USA was not drafted? <laughs> That would have been funny. That would have been really Ooh, great. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, wow. that was fun. That was fun. That yeah, was. It was. Fun. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. And, and, and Riz, thanks for giving them what they basically wanted. I No, I get I get. Well, I was I was part of that list as well. I thought oh. in, in my mind, Devon was the ultimate troll. So <laughs> you guys oh. left guys like Eric Rowan out here. You guys left guys. I'm like... shocked you guys didn't draft Eric Rowan to complete your Wyatt faction. You didn't give us Blake or Murphy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we were debating whether to give you Blake or Murphy. If, if <laughs> Jeez. We we really thought this round was just going to be trading Usos and Shining Stars. Yeah. <laughs> it almost happened with the <laughs> almost. All right. Um, well, on that point, uh, that and so next week we will have matches, right? Uh, yeah. I, I, either next week. I don't know if we should we should give you guys two weeks. Or, um, or... no. We I think we should do it next week because in two weeks that is the live draft. That's yes. actually a good point. And we are going to have a packed show. Yeah, yes. we are. Um, if you join us live, we will not be at a regular time that night. We will actually be. Uh, July 19th will be the mark the return of Indie Mayhem show with our friends from AIW have been having a great podcast. Uh, John Thorne. I think both John Thorne and Chandler Biggins will be joining us on that show. And after that, we will be recording um, our our kind of WWE draft reactions for Wrestling Mayhem show for the main show as well. So it's going to be a late, late night on uh, July 19th. And then I go to the Gathering of the Juggalos, guys. <laughs> uh, so and then I, uh, the next morning, I go to San Diego. I basically go to sleep, get in a car, and get there in time to see Tech Nine. Uh, yeah, that's where we're at. Tech Nine. Tech Nina. So uh, now I want to know from you guys, uh, what did you learn from wrestling this week? Sorg, I learned that none of us miss Randy Orton. <laughs> Apparently not. <laughs> yeah. Well... Uh, no, I won't say it. <laughs> I, don't know, I, don't know I don't know. None of us miss Randy Orton. He's been ready to wrestle for like months now. Really? Has he? Yeah, yeah, he has. He could have come back at any point. They're just saving him for draft night. Well, Obviously. sorry. I, I want to confirm if WWE's announced this, so I'm I'm trying to confirm with my sources right now. Uh-uh. Cause I don't want to be that guy. <laughs> you don't want to be the good guy. You don't want to be the bad guy. You don't want to be that oh, guy. Oh, is SmackDown already live? No, is, no, no. Okay, it's not. They're not doing live still. Okay, never mind then. <laughs> never okay. mind. Never mind. You know what I just said at the last minute. Eamon, what did you learn from wrestling? I learned something that I can't say. Um. <laughs> okay. Oh. Um, uh, God, what did I learn from wrestling this week? Um, um, um <laughs> I learned Dolph Ziggler was kind of sad. Oh, oh yeah. The worst, because when he, the Vicky Guerrero backstage segment, I mean, if you pick up real closely, when he picks up the phone, he says, "Yeah, I lost again tonight, but whatever." He tried. He tried really hard. Yeah. Yeah. Um. <sighs> whatever. Well, you will. Sorg, how about how about you, Sorg? What Me, you 
me, I learned um, I learned I love food fights. I still love food fights in wrestling. <laughs> and that was, um, as we said on the Raw wrap-up, that was the um, um, Battle of the Bastards of food fights on Raw last night. Uh, it was it was uh, interestingly choreographed. It was a grand affair, and and I think I think this is their. I feel like you know now I, I'm thinking about. I feel like that Fourth of July food fight was the last hurrah of both rosters being together. Oh, I could see that. You know, yeah. Like yeah, I, I, I could see didn't, that. Didn't you guys feel like there was like a little extra oomph to that? that like like hey guys this is the last thing we're gonna have a crazy hey everybody's out here doing this thing um let's kind of go to town that on this thing. Makes sense. this is what it's like to have this roster this big th- you know uh, uh, happening like this uh before we go our separate ways again and, and, and do the roster split so i th- just thought that was kind of interesting so yeah what did i learn all yes. right you know what i learned I learned I enjoy WWE Snapchats because of the yes. food fights. And you see a sad Darren Young holding a rib <laughs> while everybody else is gone. Like, uh, he's hitting, sitting there with just a half a slab of ribs with all this food on him, just looking at it. And I'm sitting there going, eat it already. <laughs> I would have. Um, you know what I wanted to learn from wrestling this week but couldn't? What's that, sir? I wanted to learn who got Kevin Owens with the pie. Oh. We never found out. Yeah, that was a little weird. I assume it was the pie man from Simpsons. And I know that doesn't make any sense. (laughs) But he sneaks in like a thief in the night and pies you in the face. There needs to be like this, this, like... Like, can somebody do somebody do a call that's that's just unresolved questions from tonight's RAW? <laughs> that would be awesome. You what know, didn't like, we, like, what like didn't we learn? <laughs> that mostly like kind of point out like storyline things that get skipped like that, maybe a little bit. We can call mm-hmm. them Cliff's notes because they're cliffhangers. By a guy named Cliff. That 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 might be taken. <laughs> or just bring back GTV, like you said. No. Oh. Mm-hmm. Uh, from the Twitter, uh, Patrick Boyne, 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 Boyne. Ah, ah. WWE doesn't give a sh- up, sword? WWE doesn't give a shit about its fans. That Raw was utterly horrendous, as you can tell by the wrap up. We mostly disagree with you. Uh, and uh, Brendan Cassioli, I can do that one. I learned that Matt and Jeff Hardy are going to delete each other, and we're finding out about that here. In a little bit. Uh, and also, just because it did not come up, I just want to say for all of the fans out there, all of the Mayhemers out there, Finn Balor. Okay. No, you said it right. Yeah. I'm practicing. Yeah. I'm practicing. Yeah. I'm getting yeah. my practice. Good good job. Sorry. You're practicing. Yay. I'm still having the note. I still have the note right here. <laughs> there it is. So. Sorry, you'd have to listen to last week's to know what that's about. Guys, Wrestling Mayhem Show has been so much fun to hang out with my friends, all of you guys here on the line, out on the internet, in the chat room. Matt Carlins is out there, um, um, but in pain because he's watching Impact Wrestling. Uh, Mad Mike <laughs> is at Mad Mike 4883 He's in Poughkeepsie, New York. You can tweet I him. Am. You can tweet him and ask him, what was it like to work at WWE? I will give a very long answer. You can ask him, what is Chris DeJoseph like? Um, he, he's very lovely. He gives excellent gifts. You could ask him what the Miz is like in person. Don't answer him now. Leave them hanging so they'll actually ask you. Okay. All, All right. righty. Because All I, right. I actually have met the Miz. Exactly. I know you have. We played that, that bit a little <laughs> bit ago on awesome. the show. A little, uh, we played that Wheels, you ago. just spoiled it. Ah, <laughs> Wheels. Hot Wheels RWA. Sorry. You can tweet him questions like, how hard is it to be a sound person at Renegade Wrestling Alliance? And and what does Karen Jarrett smell like? Mm. And are you going to wear a GoPro to your next <laughs> at the event? And who gives the best hugs? That's an Ooh. excellent question. That's a good question. That's a good question. You got Eamon to please on the Twitter. He's the voice of Inspire Pro Wrestling. You can ask him questions like, what is Chris Ciro's favorite sandwich? 
That's I'm sorry. I that's all I could come up with. <laughs> wow. Okay. I just remember you hung out with Chris Hero for a weekend and like a day, like, like a day, <laughs> like that's all. That's more than the rest of us. You win. You can ask him what's Johnny Mundo like. Is he flippy cool. all the time? You can ask him. <laughs> is it hot in Texas? Are you an independent yeah, country guy? You can ask him what it's like to be the voice of an entire company. Yes. I'm at Sorgatron on Twitter. You can ask me, I don't know, (laughs) anything, I guess. You can ask me questions like... I'm leaving this to you. I'd like to run a social media company. (laughs) There you go. (laughs) When are you going to grow your hair back? (laughs) How many D batteries are currently inserted in your anus? Don't ask me that one. Don't, don't let's not do that one. That's not okay. Wrestling Mayhem Show at Mayhem the Show. Zero, Sorg. It's just a question answer someone might ask. Answer is zero. Good times at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. dot com. Four one two four one two two zero six W four one two two zero six W Mez Zero. Thank you, everybody. Having a blast every week, and I'm so happy that we've been able to do this for ten plus years. Thank you for all the support, all the listeners, all the co-hosts, all the people on the website and in the chat rooms and and the yay good jobs over the years. Uh, we'll see you guys next time. Mayhem out. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. You guys are cool.